In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the 3D printed Strand Beast walking mechanism. All the parts for this are 3D printed and the file package can be found on my website. Link is in the bio below. So let's get started. Grab these small links with the two posts and those go into the outer corners of these triangle pieces. And this triangle piece, mine doesn't have the line on it, but the one that you will be downloading has a line and that shows you which way is horizontal. And that's very important because it would change the way that the strand beast walks. Repeat that on the other side. And then C clamp them both into place. Next, grab the medium link and make sure it's the medium one. And then that will go into the top hole on the top triangle. Same thing with the other side. Next, grab the long link that has the hole on the other end. Place the post through the short link with the two holes and then C-clamp that into place. Make sure the flanges are down against the triangle. And you can repeat that on the other side. Flange down. I might have made that a little bit confusing. But flange down against the triangle, post for the hole, and then C clamp that into place. Now you gotta follow this exact pattern for these, and this will repeat the whole way through. So you go right post left post, right post, left post. And then that will go through the hole in the back of the gear. And then you can throw a C-clamp to hold that into place as well. Now you can align the small post with the holes and Grab one of your long rods, and that will go through the holes. Push it all the way in. Repeat on the other side. And then you have to grab your base link, and we're gonna start with the one with the two spacers attached to the back of it. Slide that all the way down. And then thread the post on the gear through the center hole in the base link and then you can push it all the way in and throw a c-clamp on there to hold it into place finally you'll notice that there's a dot on this part of the gear and there's three of them on the gear that is intentional the line on the small gear will align with the dot on the big gear. And once you have that aligned, you can slide the hex shaft in, throw C-clamps around the gear. And boom, that is the first module complete. So give it a couple spins, admire your work, make sure everything is rotating. Looks good. Now you can repeat that with the next module. And there's only really one thing to pay attention to here. After you slid this into place, make sure that you slide the small gear on with the line on the small gear, aligning with the line on the first small gear that you put on. And it will connect with one of the corners on the hex shaft. Then you can slide your base link Again, with the spacers built into it all the way down, align it with the post on the gear, C clamp that into place. So this part's important to make sure that you get it aligned correctly. So if you move the second crank up into the top position, you'll notice that the first dot on the second crank aligns with the second dot on the first crank. And when you have those two aligned, you know you're, you're in the right position. The cranks are offset 120 degrees from one another. And then you can continue on sliding the small gear on, aligning with the lines like the last one, sliding the module on, 
Then you can grab the base link that has no spacers on it. That will slide on. And then we're gonna make sure it's aligned one more time. You'll notice I'm trying to get the second dot aligned with the first dot on the third crank. And once that's all in place, I can throw a C-clamp on there and make sure it's set. Now, just to make sure that everything is moving in 120 degrees offsets, give it a couple spins and we're good to go. Okay, grab your parts for the fan and center spacer and drop this compound gear into the lower section here and slide the pin all the way through. C-clamp that into place. Now you can grab the big gear and that will align with this hole. And then the small bevel gear with the hex will slide into that. Then you can slide the rotor in from the back all the way through and then throw a C-clamp to hold that in place. Make sure it's sliding well. If it's not, WD-40 is your best friend on this model. You want everything to be moving really smoothly. So just hit all the joints with WD-40 and you want it to spin kind of like this. This looks good. So we can slide that onto the model. Push it all the way down. Then grab a C-clamp and put it on this part right here. And then you can slide your bevel gear all the way down the shaft until it links up with the other bevel gear and then throw a C-clamp to hold that in place. You just wanna make sure that everything is spinning in the right direction. So the top shaft has to spin backwards for the beast to walk forwards. All right, so now we're gonna repeat all the first steps in reverse. So start with the base link that has no spacers on it. Slide it all the way down. Slide your leg modules onto the end of that. C-clamp the gear in place. Make sure the line on the small gear is aligned with all the other lines of the other gears. And make sure that this crank is lined up with the opposing crank. And then you can slide the gear down into place and throw a C-clamp to hold it there. And you can see the inside two modules are oriented in the same way. And then we're just gonna be repeating that again with the other spacer base piece. Slide the module on, slide the gear in, and you'll notice I struggled a little bit to get the C-clamp on, so I just pulled the whole thing out, threw the C-clamp on, and then pushed the whole thing back. And then did the same thing, aligning the small gear with the other small gears, aligning the big gear with the other big gear for the other middle module, and then C-clamping it into place. For the final module, I decided to just throw the gear into the base link before I slid it all on, just so I could throw the back C-clamp in. And then it was a little bit of a battle trying to get this in, but it'll go. Boom. So now you can just throw the C-clamps on the end of the big posts. Make sure that the small gear line is aligned with all the other small gears. Make sure that the big gear is aligned with the other outermost modules big gear. And boom. Give it a little bit of wind, a fan, anything. And you'll have your very own walking strand beast. So the download files also come with this display stand. So you can just marvel at the incredible mechanism invented by Teo Janssen. Huge shout out to him for inventing such an amazing piece. Thank you so much.